and welcome to the VPG channel. We are here covering everything new on FC25 Pro Clubs. We're going to cover some of the gameplay and match experience. There's some new skill moves to go over. Everything Pro Clubs for FC25, apart from a few things obviously I'm not allowed to announce yet. Um, and obviously a few new modes in Pro Clubs. So firstly, uh, here are a few points on the gameplay slash match experience. They've got a new Hypermotion V. Now this allows the gameplay uh, to be a bit more realistic, uh, less laggy, and yeah guys, uh, I've played the game and it looks good. Now I'm not just saying this because the new game's just around the corner, but compared to FC24, uh, they've got a lot more a lot more animations, a lot more data involved, so literally it does play a lot better. So some things that are improved in the gameplay, you have a new authentic match intro. So as soon as you load up the game, uh, there's different intros uh, for your club. Uh, there's a new POV, which is point of view high promotion camera. So if you're taking corners, free kicks, it literally shows a nice POV uh, styled camera uh, for the gameplay. There's authentic mascots. So for example, if you go to Manchester United, you'll probably see uh, Fred the Red on the sidelines. You can celebrate with the mascots. It's just a new a new thing they've added into FC25. You have sideline moments. So if you score like the 90th winner, you can see your players celebrate with the managers, celebrate with the fans. It just brings that uh, excitement um, for the game. You have crowd reactions, which we have seen from FC24, but they've added a few uh, new frames into FC25. Uh, we have stadium elements. So a lot more customization and stadium effects uh, to be added in game and obviously my thoughts is there's better pass accuracy in FC25 so obviously they've they've done a video comparing FC24 passes um, with FC well, FC24 passes into FC25 and obviously um, a lot of a lot of the pass accuracy ratio from FC24 wasn't that good a lot of passes were being missed and it was a little bit sloppy but FC25 they have improved that and it's it's looking good guys um, so first I'm going to cover a few new areas uh, which is the skill moves so there's five new skill moves on FC 25 that is the toe drag step over there's the big feint step over ball there's the heel nutmeg and the drag turn so these five video uh, ste step overs uh, new, uh, these new five skill moves are very good I've seen the videos but obviously I'm not allowed to share any content other than my thoughts on this video so I've seen that the skill moves and they do look very good guys now moving across into pro clubs which is what you all are here for it would just come back from the pro clubs event in Sheffield it was an amazing experience 10 teams from UK Poland Portugal Turkey um, and Cyprus battled it out uh, to be champion and the video is uploaded now so it will be um, available soon uh, for you guys to watch so moving across into the pro clubs uh, new features in FC 25 so they've got a new reimagined social menu which is called the clubhouse um, so the clubhouse um, is basically a view of your club's locker room so if you could kind of style it out as a, as a, as a locker room with 11 seats um, you can basically customize everything related to the to the um, clubhouse so you can change the colors the theme your club crest your kits and it all with neon lights everything so the clubhouse is it's a great new addition uh, to the mode so for example when you load into the clubhouse as soon as you load up into into the into your own club um, it will show your player actively in the clubhouse you'll be sitting down in the locker room and when your other teammates arrive you'll see them also um, attend into the clubhouse so once you have like 11 players in there, it'll be a, it'll be a nice um, nice feature to have. So if you want to take a picture of all your players in the lobby sitting down, literally it, it'll look good. And there's a new layout to the menu system as well. Um, so it's another good um, another good area that pro clubs have um, have made for the menu. Now let's talk about the new mode on FC25. Now that is called Rush. It's a basically a 5v5 format replacing the drop-in system. So it is going to be a competitive experience. Um, I don't know if they're going to take it into the competitive side. I know that 5v5 rush is being added to Pro Clubs and Ultimate Team. Um, but they've added it into Pro Clubs also. So 
Um, how it works is each club, um, you earn your club rankings on the leaderboards. So for example, when you play games, you earn points and you rank up your club to become the best in the world. Um, it's basically a drop-in based experience. If you have three players online of your teammates, you can get another two um, or one of those random teammates that can join your club and you can play um, and meet new people along the way. Uh, winning matches will earn you rank points, which will go into the leaderboards as we just discussed. And each season, players will have the opportunity to rise through the ranks. So obviously there's going to be a ranking system where you start off quite low and then you get to the high ranks uh, to compete in, in the higher leaderboards and the best teams in the world. Um, your club earns, you earn club based rewards. So for example, um, if you compete at the highest, highest leaderboard, you will earn special customization items and club based rewards. So there's a lot more stuff in nice areas uh, for the people that don't like the competitive side, which is 11 v 11. Now in terms of club facilities, um, this is basically a new area they've, they've added for pro clubs and FC 25. So the club manager has the ability to allocate budget towards facility cards. So it's a new way um, to make, basically we discussed how to make it more balanced for FC 25. Now FC 24, um, just the leveling system alone, it was completely different. Like it was just, it wasn't balanced. There was, we had to do much, much restrictions, height restrictions. Yeah, it was just a, a big mess. So this club's facilities will build, will, will basically create a more balanced game for everyone in FC 25. So the club manager has the ability to allocate budget towards uh, the facility cards. Now facility cards, um, are basically what you can buy with your currency inside pro clubs. So your budget increases as your reputation grows. So the more games you play, your budget increases and you can unlock more facility cards. So you can buy staff. With that staff, uh, you can upgrade like play styles, uh, play style pluses. And the good thing about that is you can't like have different play styles per player. So now it's your play style as a team so this creates different styles if you want all your players to have like focused more on strength focus more on speed then this is what uh, these facility cards do now each player card has one two and three stars uh, so this basically obviously one being less and three obviously is like is more it's more better um, there's unique benefits for certain styles so obviously if you're going to be a bit more maxed high, if you're going to be more more in pace, um, different styles make the game better. So all clubs start with the same budget at the start of the game. So you all start um, fairly and then obviously the more games you play, the higher you go, you get more budget and you get more options to choose with your facility cards. So obviously guys, my thoughts on this is it's a more balanced system as it suits lots of styles and lots of players. It makes it fair and it's going to be a different approach into FC 25 where especially the 11 v 11 community it will make it a bit more balanced and obviously uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Now in terms of the match experience this doesn't suit the 11 v 11 community as much so for example they, ha they have added a league relegation back so if you lose quite a lot of matches in a row that will trigger a one-off relegation match if you lose that then you get relegated into a lower division. Now, um, there's a new tactics in clubs, which is called FC IQ. Now, with this, it's basically you can set the tactics in a different way. And yeah, uh, this is mainly just for like lower than 11 man. So yeah. Also, guys, some good news to those who love the customization side of pro clubs. Now, for customizations, we do have a season pass. I know it's about time, like a lot of you have in previous years, when we've done like videos at the end of the game, end of the cycle, uh, your wish list, uh, season pass has definitely been up there, um, which is great. So the season pass is coming. I know that's linking to all three modes, pro clubs, career mode, and all the team. So there's going to be a lot more content uh, for us pro clubs guys to edit. Now there's a club store. So for the club store, that's literally just going to be on on the pro clubs menus now. I know in pre in previous games we've had to go to the Volta store to unlock some unique items now. Pro Clubs is the face of the social mode 
uh, which is great. So we're going to have our own store, our own season pass, and a lot of customizations uh, for our our players. So guys, Pro Clubs on FC Twenty Five has never had as much more content at launch and throughout the year. So stay tuned to what I've just said there. I can't really talk too much about it, but let me just say a lot of content is coming uh, for FC Twenty Five clubs. Uh, for the new customizations, they have tattoos. Uh, they have new boots, gloves, and a new thing which is arm sleeves. You can customize different arm sleeves now. It looks quite quite unique and nice. So watch out for that. A lot of club and player cosmetic items as well. So there's a brand new avatar customization tool set in Cranium. So Cranium is like a new uh, tool system that they've added uh, to create your avatar. I know they've used Cranium in FIFA on the team to make it to make it more easier to make their like real players look like them but they've added Cranium to Pro Clubs, so it just makes everything so much smoother, makes it so much n nicer to create your perfect avatar uh, for Pro Clubs. So it's a different system now, it's not the same. I know we've had the same one for like 10 years, so a brand new tool set for editing your Pro. Now this which allows you to customize your avatar in more depth than you've ever seen before, guys. Um, obviously, there's a lot more things uh, for pro clubs and FC 25 but we cannot talk about that yet so I can't talk about anything with like leveling systems I can't talk anything yeah I can't really talk too much about what's coming um, so this is what I'm allowed to talk about right now um, I hope you enjoyed the video um, and yeah guys more to come uh, thank you for watching and take care